Hello. Today's topic is orientation and attraction, part of a series about diversity and GSM, which stands for gender sexuality minorities. When most people think of orientation, it usually brings up a binary classification of straight or gay. Sometimes they've expanded to include bi, but there's so much more to it than that. A really basic definition of orientation is describing the gender composition of who a person is attracted to relative to their own gender. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's a really good starting point to build from. So, if we consider gender as a binary for now, we get four basic categories of orientation. They're straight if the people that a person likes are all of the opposite gender, gay or lesbian if the subjects of a person's attractions are all of the same gender as that person, Bi if the people a person likes is made up of both genders, and asexual if a person isn't attracted to anyone. This is a very basic overview. For starters, a person doesn't like a gender in that everyone of that gender is attractive. Instead, a person is attracted to different people, and the orientation describes the gender makeup of that population. Even two people who use the same term to describe themselves will be different. Two males, for example, who identify as straight, will feel differently about different females. These terms, gay, straight, bi, asexual, are terms used to describe a person's pattern of attraction, not define them. Nor do they determine anything else about the person, not even how they react to those feelings. These rely on a binary model of gender is really oversimplified. Many people do not identify with a binary gender or identify with a gender that is different from their biological sex. So, it becomes a lot harder to use these terms then. But perhaps the most important point that must be made is that a person simply does not choose their orientation. There is no way a person can consciously or deliberately alter the way they feel. Not at the level of gender, a gay person cannot will himself to be straight or even bi or asexual. Not at the level of types of people. Someone who is attracted to nerdy types can't decide to suddenly like athletes instead. Not even at the level of individuals. A lot of people have trouble shaking a crush, even when that person is unavailable or has turned them down. Orientation is feelings, and feelings are not a choice. Labels should describe, not prescribe. Later in the series, we'll talk more about each of the basic labels that we mentioned before, as well as talk about gender and identities that take into consideration non-binary genders. Hey, Owly, how do you know so much about orientation and attraction? I spent a lot of time thinking at a godlike scientific level. 